Welcome to drillingcontractor.org. This is Kelly Ainsworth reporting from the 2017 SPE IADC Drilling Conference in The Hague, the Netherlands. At the conference, Baker Hughes is launching the Teradopt bit. I'm here with Danielle Fusler, who tells us more about the bit. How are you doing today, Danielle? I'm well. How about yourself? I'm doing well. What are some of the primary challenges for PDC bits that the Teradopt was designed to overcome? Today's drilling is through increasingly heterogeneous formations. We're going from hard to soft rocks with a lot of variation in types and strengths. A PDC bit withstands um, a wide variety of challenges in that case, and to get a design that encompassed all of those challenges is very difficult to do. Typically we design with all the offset knowledge that we have, and it's an educated guess. If anything changes down hole, a slightly harder formation, different motor type, that bit may not be well suited for that challenge. With interbedded drilling, stick slip dysfunctions are incredibly common, so the bit is torsionally very unstable in those situations. Teradapt was designed to solve those challenges. Can you explain how the bit's depth of cut characteristics adjust to suit the drilling environment? So each primary blade on a Teradapt bit contains a cartridge assembly which houses uh, internals to adjust those depth of cut control elements. From the surface of the bit, we're using traditional depth of cut control elements such as ovoids or those dome-shaped features on the bit. However, within the cartridge, we have an internal assembly with the hydraulic fluid and piston that actually allows those elements to extend and retract to adjust the depth of cut. Uh, it's done on a time-based dependency. It's almost like a seat belt. Um, with a very fast change in loading, those elements resist any change in the depth of cut, preventing a PDC bit from taking a further bite, which triggers some of those stick slip dysfunctions. Uh, in smooth drilling, those elements recess back into the drill bit, allowing an optimal ROP response. What sort of results have you seen from this bit in testing and simulations? What we've seen with Teradapt and testing at our full-scale research rig in Oklahoma is when we tested a Teradapt bit against a, a standard PDC bit with and without fixed depth of cut control, we were able to pick formations and parameters to cause stick slip. The Teradapt drill bit resisted stick slip in nearly every situation we put it in. Uh, also doubled the ROP or the drilling speed at which we could drill without any stick slip dysfunctions. Uh, in customer wells where we've deployed Teradapt, uh, our Teradapt solutions have drilled with a much smoother torque response, uh, less variation seen at surface and at a lower magnitude. And with our in-bit sensing technology multi-sense, uh, we've seen the no, no indications of stick slip drilling with Teradapt. And thank you for joining us today, Danielle, and telling us all about the Teradapt. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.